What is going on guys? Welcome back to Southwest Fishing. So we just went fishing at a little local pond. I was driving home. I had no intention on fishing today, but uh, I was just driving home. I had the camera with me and I said, screw it. We got a little bit of time. We got about 45, 50 minutes before it gets dark. Let's go out here, try to catch a few fish. I'll tell you guys, we had a few blow ups and uh, honestly, I would have caught a lot of fish if uh, they all hit, but uh, we then switched over to a Senko, did pretty good on the Senko. And I mean, you guys will see all this in a second, but it was really, really fun coming out just for 45, 50 minutes, catching some fish, having a good time, seeing the really pretty sunset, everything like that. It's, uh, it's really handy always carrying rods and always having your GoPro with you because you never know when you're gonna see that body of water that you wanna try and fish. So uh, if you guys do have a GoPro and you just wanna film, either for your personal self or you do have a YouTube channel, make sure you always have the GoPro with you, at least a GoPro, because then you'll be able to always make a video at some point. So I was happy I had it with me today. But uh, I just wanna say thank you to every single one of you guys hopping on board to the Southwest Fishing Fam. You guys are awesome. We're almost at 2,000 subs. I believe we're like 30 subs away. That is incredible. The amount of growth in the last year alone, 15, 1,600 subs in the last year. I looked at the data last, last night and saw that a year ago, last night, I was at like 328 subs and now we're almost at 2,000. That is insane. So uh, thank you to every single one of you guys hopping on board. I really, really appreciate it. But uh, enough talking, let's get fishing. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification and let's do it. All right guys, so we're gonna see for the rest of the day. We only got about 30 minutes of light. Let's see if we can make a quick little video out of it. We're gonna try to get on a few top water bass. I'm gonna walk around this pond, see if I can entice any fish to come up and smash this little fish head's buzz bait. The reason why I like this buzz bait is because not only is it a buzz bait, but it's also an underspin. So you got that extra little bit of flash underneath, which can entice and draw up those fish. Plus I like it because it's a smaller presentation. It's not all bulky like most buzz baits are. So it's much easier for even small fish to gobble this thing down. There's a little bait all over the bank, so the little bait fish in here is spawning. That's a good sign. Oh, oh my gosh, did you guys see that? Son of a gun, that was a good fish. I was too busy looking at the carp right over here with the bait fish. I just totally missed that fish. Holy dirt. Oh man, he hit it again. Holy crap. Holy crap. This is why you need a trailer hook. Trailer hooks are huge when it comes to uh, doing a buzz bait and spinner bait. Any sort of blade bait. Oh, there's like three real nice bass. And trailers are huge when it comes to any sort of blade baits. That's a nice one. Oh, multiple. Ah, oh, there's a lot of them. There's four. That's cool they came up though. Shows they're willing to. Can't believe I didn't hook one. Typically the hookup ratio on this sucker is a lot better than uh, than those bigger buzz baits. Oh man, do you guys see that? They're just short biting it. I need a trailer. I need a trailer hook so bad. I, I had to hook all these fish. There we go. There we go. There we go. Calm down, buddy. Cool little bass. Not too bad, he spawned out. Let's put him over here. Oh shoot, the school's right there. Let's actually put him over here so we don't spook that school anymore. And they're already spooked. Thank you for the bite, bud. There we go. Oh man, he had it. He had the little Senko. I can't even hook him on the Senko. Holy, come on. Oh, done. He came back for it. It, it may have been a different fish, but. When in doubt, Senko. Nice little fish. Get him back in. Thank you for the bite. I lucked out because apparently I tied an awful knot and uh, yeah, it popped right out. And I gotta run back up to the car and get another hook. That makes no sense. How did that happen? Oh uh, well, well, be right back. Oh, there we go. Little fish just came up. <laughs> oh man, they're so fun. Especially when they're chasing bait and they're pretty freaking aggressive. I drag so loose because yesterday fighting those smallmouth 
That's a decent little fish right there. Hooked him right in that fatty corner of the mouth. There we go. Decent little fish right there, not too bad. Fun bass. And I cannot complain. It's a great time of day to catch some fish. There's a little bass right here. Let's see if he'll hit the Senko. Little twitch. There we go. He hit it. Oh man, he popped off. He wasn't on too long though, so let's see. We might be able to get him again. If they're on for eh, less than two seconds, sometimes you can get them to hit again. That was my fault completely. I just didn't let him inhale it enough. Oh, oh. There we go. Him and his buddy came up to look at him. This one just grabbed it first. I'm trying to keep him away so I can maybe catch, catch the other one. Man, they are scrappers. They really pull. Come here, bud. You're good, you're good. Don't break off my only Senko. Haha, <laughs> another one. It's a little bit bigger, not too bad. Just on the Senko. Nothing special. Perfect hook set on the roof of the mouth. Perfect. One last hook. Cool fish. Get him back in. Thanks for the bus bird. Here he comes, he's gonna hit it. There we go. Man, they're so freaking aggressive. This is awesome. We're on that feed bag after the spawn. Pond bass do the same thing that lake bass do. It's just they do it earlier. Look at that. Another little bass. Not too bad. Fell right out. Very fun. Thanks for the bite. I don't know if he sees my bait. I don't even know where my bait is. There we go. Nice. So as I was saying, you could always switch up. Don't ever be afraid to put on a popper if you're missing them on the buzz bait or whopper plopper or whatever you're using frog. You always switch it up, but when in doubt, if you really want to catch a few fish, throw on the Senko. To see this little tiny bass right here just uh, pop up out of nowhere. Thanks for the bite, dude. Yeah, with the Gary Yamamoto, granted they do tear a little bit easier, but uh, I mean, they sink a lot faster. They have a little bit better action, but I mean, clearly the, the fish are just hungry. They're gonna eat this, eat this Senko no matter what. Little bass right here, looks like. Holy, holy crap. My bait was way in the heck out there and I had a decent fish on. There's a little bass somewhere around here. I hope I didn't spook him with all that random noise. Because I thought my bait was a lot closer in, but it wasn't. It was further out. Oh, there we go. That little bass came up and scooped it right up. Man, they freaking fight. Can't go wrong with eight pound test, guys. Light line equals fun fishing all the time. Gosh, this guy's aggressive. Look how crazy he's going. It's a good sized fish too. One of the better ones. It's actually, uh, it's actually got some girth to him. Man, it's just like, it's like, why would you stop, right? When they're biting like this, why would you stop? I mean, I'm not gonna stay because I don't want to catch more fish and not share them with you guys. So, I had a couple fish in here though, so let's see. See if we can get one last one and then bail. All right guys, so as you guys saw, man, had a lot of blow ups on top water. Probably 10, 11 of them did hook the one fish. Was really, really awesome. Uh, man, I wish I could have hooked a few more because top water is my favorite thing, just like it is for most people. Most people love top water fishing and how can you blame them? I mean, seeing the bass come up like that and just hit any sort of lure, whether it's a popper, a buzz bait, a frog, it, it's just gnarly to watch. But uh, unfortunately, only got the one, but the action was still cool. And I knew the second that they were coming up that active for the buzz bait, just not quite committing on it hard enough, I knew that the Senko would definitely get him. So I switched over to the Senko. I missed like four fish on the Senko too. But uh, I believe I pulled up seven or eight. Not too bad for like 50 minutes of fishing. I can't complain. So it was fun coming out. Like I said in the intro, I'm glad I brought my GoPro. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. And we'll see you guys next time on Southwest Fishing.